once we arrived from Martinique to Les Saints, we met our friends from Poland. In today's episode, we're gonna give you a tour of Frederik Chopin, a Polish brick rigged sailing vessel, a true legend of Polish sailing. Been knocking at your door. I know one thing for sure. I've never been so close before. In the last episode, we sailed from Martinique to Marie Galante and Les Saints, where we met the famous Polish sailing ship Frederik Chopin, with our friends from Poland aboard. We didn't need to think twice to stop our home and anchor next to them, and then accept an invitation to board the very famous sailing brig. We're taking you for a tour. Now it's a challenge to just climb. Okay, so we have an owner, <laughs> Piotr. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna give you a tour of Frederik Chopin today. So welcome aboard uh, sail, sail training ship uh, Chopin. Uh, Frederik Chopin. Frederik Chopin, yes, 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 yes. And this is the captain, and we have the honor of uh, him giving us a tour around the uh, this square rigger, which is quite a quite a unique. There's only a few of those still floating around the world, uh, so it's quite an opportunity. And we wanted to share it with you guys. So Bartek, uh, he's the captain, and uh, he can he's probably the best positioned person to tell us all kinds of technical uh, technical details about this ship. So let's start from the beginning. When, wh when, and where was it built, and what was the idea um, behind it, and how did it change hands quickly? Okay, so she was uh, built in Poland in 1992. The first hoisting of the colors took place in 29th of February, which means that the anniversary we have every four years. The, she is uh, the brig. The brig means that uh, she has two masts and uh, both full rigged, uh, square rigged. So on both masts we have yards, which is the definition of the ship, of the vessel, of the type of brick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she was designed by uh, Zygmunt Horen. Uh, he's called uh, father of the tall ships because he's de he designed a lot of them. Maybe not only few of them are uh, is still sailing, but at as far as I know, at least 10 is sailing, okay. designed by Horen. Uh, and uh, she was designed for the purpose of having on board the trainees, uh, high school students who have uh, here the sail training and the school. So they basically come over here for a few months and at the same time they continue their normal school work, right? Yeah, they have While a... being a crew on this, on this ship. Yeah, they have uh, normal classes here, like in a normal school ashore. And uh, also they become a crew of this ship. We need a lot of crew members to operate uh, this ship. What is a minimum number of people to get this uh, uh, ship on the way under sail? Okay, it depends, of course, what you would like to do. If you would like to go to the regatta, 
mm -hmm. like racing. The and all, yeah, you need at least 40, in my opinion. Basic facts: uh, the length, the how high is the. Okay, ships the, particulars. Ships particulars. Yes. Uh, so, the length overall is 45 meters. Uh, 55 with bowsprit. Bowsprit is mm -hmm. the spar on the bow. So the maximum draft. 4.2 meters, beam 8.7, uh, air draft uh, 38 meters. 38 meters, which the is gross tonnage. equivalent of about 12-story high building. Uh, yes, uh, uh, the gross tonnage is 306, mm -hmm. uh, the displacement 400 tons. Engines, yes. We have you have one main engine. One we have propeller. one engine, one propeller, which is pitch proper, propeller. And How many horsepower, horsepower 380 horsepowers. Only 308? Yes. 380? Three, uh, 380. Oh, 80 horsepower. That, that yeah. seems like a small we engine for such a big yeah. ship. Because we have... are sailing vessel. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we like That's that. That's a good answer. <laughs> the minimum crew to, to leave the harbor is seven people. Seven people, okay. Seven okay. people. Side. How many people maximum can you have here when you're holding a, a whole full-blown 53. School? 53, okay. So you would have about, what, 30-something students on board? 36 trainees, 36. Okay. and we have also teachers then. Right, I understand. Okay, okay. cool. Mm -hmm. No, hot, hot, hot. No, let to to this, is, uh, this is definitely a place that we can say that uh, it's a walk. That we can go for a yeah, walk. Yeah, so we, t we are taking you so for a walk. So we're taking a walk, a walk okay. from, uh, from the stern uh. to the bow, which is what, 50 meters? Uh, pff, I don't remember. Something like that. I'm not good with numbers. Like Just climb yeah, over there. Yeah, this is serious. <laughs> this is no joke. This is no joke. Where's the anchor? Down? Okay. <laughs> yeah, most likely it's down. This is a blunt uh, tour. Blunt moment. Blunt moment. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is when the this is when the beauty of the square rigger shines. Crazy. What's that? What's that noise, honey? That is probably uh, from the uh, uh, AC, AC air conditioning. Oh, air conditioning. Okay. Don't you worry, our home is really, really safe. While taking a tour here, we can keep an eye on our home. Look at Polly. He's safe and she's fine. Kuba, Kuba is uh, interested uh, how many hours do kids uh, do school every day? So this is the most important thing because he wants to compare his homeschooling uh, to uh, this kid sailing here on Frederik Chopin. <laughs> This is quite a big tour and quite a big walk here. Smell really good from the kitchen. A big, huge fenders, and this is place when they keep uh, tenders or dinghy. Whatever. Jak najbardziej. Zawsze, zawsze. I, I duże jest podobieństw, podobna jest mesa, tak. No, no. Julia, tutaj widzę, trenuje zasady bezpieczeństwa. Tak, tak, tak. On wszystko tutaj, wszystko to przy, przy, przy tego. Mamy tam, mamy tam. So this is what the birthing on a tall ship looks like. One, two, three levels of uh, birth. Honey, so you're taking this instead of yeah, our uh, yeah, queen size? Yes, it's not bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's a really bad. <laughs> Welcome. Chodź. Okay. Bywa nauka e, na tych szkołach e, pod żeglami. Buenos dias, el comandante. Buenos Aires. <laughs> Buenos Aires. <laughs> Where are we, Bartek? 
Yeah, we are in a navig navigational room of vessel. All important stuff, nautical stuff, according to what you have. Uh -huh. And uh, behind me you can see the radio room, mm -hmm. when this is the separate um, room where we, uh, we have some uh, GMDSS uh, devices okay. required for the safety. So, so this here is mainly navigation, there is radio operation, right? Yes. Okay. This is famous... Uh, Frédéric Chopin, Chopin, the composer, composer. Uh, COVID style. So I wanted to talk about two more things at the end. Um, one is that first of all this ship has won many races and also has won something called Friendship Prize, which uh, is something awarded uh, during the tall ship races uh, to the most friendly crew. We compete mm -hmm. in the regatta. And just, just to give you guys an idea, uh, this ship, when it's jibing, how long does that take? Uh, if we have experienced crews or motivated and experienced, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Here, you don't just take the helm, don't pull on two lines, and you're over on the other tack. Here, you have to call the entire crew on deck, right? Am yes. I, am I correct? Yes. You, you call all hands on deck, and all hands are needed in order to pull the right lines at the right time. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, and this is like, uh, we have uh, 20 sails, mm -hmm. so every sail must be operated by some and my people. My understanding is uh, you have 170 ropes to operate the sails, is that correct? Uh, uh, something like that. Is that urban myth? <laughs> uh, I have to count it because, uh, in my opinion, it's more. But it's more, okay. But I never counted it. But just to give you an idea, it's, it's uh, but uh, once uh, Boson calculated the length of the all uh, soft lines running rigging. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it was like uh, fifteen kilometers. Fifteen kilometers of running rigging. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, one last question. Yes. Personal. Yes. How does a young guy like you, not having a big uh, gray be beard and uh, you know and uh, look like a pirate, uh, become a captain of a seriously big square rigger ship? And you are a chemist by the, by by trade, right? Yes. By education. I started uh, to sail on uh, Frederick Chopin in 2007, and uh, when Piotr, the owner, uh, bought the ship. Uh, he hired me as an officer and then I started to be here for a long of time and uh, just learning. So now you're, <laughs> you're permanently captain for how many years now? Uh, I started being captain in 2012. Okay, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for <laughs>Can you imagine what happens when you experience Polish hospitality? Well, we spent few days on Frederick Chopin. We've been invited for dinners, including Christmas Eve. This was such a unique moment for us. At the other end of the world, far, far away from home, our families, we could spend this magical time in such a wonderful company. Not even to mention delicious traditional Polish cuisine we could taste after a long, long time. During those few days we could record this video for you, including a special Polish video with the owner, which will be published on our Polish channel soon. And in the evenings Bartek was playing on his magical drum. for the hospitality, the owner for the deep conversation we had about sailing, life priorities and living aboard. See you soon, somewhere on the ocean. Nie do, nie do podrobienia. Dziękujemy.
It was a big pleasure to record this video. It's a big part of history, especially for us, Polish. Frédéric Chopin left to Martinique and we said see you soon to our friends. We'll meet you again, for sure. And we stayed in Les Saints for a while. Join us next week while exploring these beautiful, colorful islands of Les Saints and then Guadeloupe. Remember to subscribe, stay safe and fair winds. I'm sitting up in my lonely bed